Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. In today's video, we are going to have a look at Linux Lite. They just released a release candidate for the new version, which is based on Ubuntu 2004. Linux Lite is targeted to new Linux users, which are coming mostly for Windows. So let's have a look at it. So I've downloaded and burned the ISO to a USB stick here and I booted up the machine from there and I'm greeted here with the grab bootloader. So we have several options here and I think I want to directly install Linux Lite. So I'll just go to the second option here and hit enter. And there is a file system check here at boot. It's going to take a moment to boot up. And so we are now in the installer. So let's select the language here and click English and click continue. Now I'll select my keyboard layout. So I'll just scroll down here, select the layout I have and click continue. Now we can download updates while installing Linux, which I'm going to leave checked on. And I'll choose also to install third party software and graphics. And if you are trying this and you have an NVIDIA card or Wi-Fi hardware, which acquires proprietary drivers, I also recommend you do this and then we just click continue. So for the installation type, I'll go for erase the disk and install Linux. We have also the advanced features here, where we can also create LVM and use the ZFS file system. This is everything based on Ubuntu. So I'll select none here and click continue. We could also create something else like creating our own partitions here. But for this video, I'm going to go with the erase disk solution and click install now. So here we see the changes that will be done to the disk and that's fine with me. So I'll just click continue. Now we are asked to select the time zone. So in my case, this is okay. So I'll click continue and I can create now a new user. So I'll type in my name here, give a name to the computer. I'll call this light tech. The username is fine and I'll choose my password and retype it. And I want to require my password login, so that's fine. And I click continue. And now we just basically have to wait until the system is installed. So I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is now complete and we can restart the system. And there you go. We are now on the login prompt. So let me enter my password here and hit enter. And there is a welcome screen to Linux Lite. So the first thing I have to do here is to correct my display resolution. So let me close first this up. And I'll go under menu here. This is the XFCE desktop environment. And then I go to settings, then display. And I'll select my resolution here and click apply. And I keep the configuration, but I have to change also the size of the scale. So I go back to the menu here and hit settings. Go to appearance and go to settings here and select scale into two. There you go and click close. Now I need to look out for the changes to take a fully effect. So let me do this very quickly. And I click log out here and enter my password again and hit enter. And there you go. I see still my window borders here are very small. So let me correct this first by going again to settings then scrolling down to window manager and i'll choose the default x hdpi and increase the fonts here and let's go to 18 and click select there you go then it's much better so let's close this up so we are greeted by this welcome screen here which is very handy so we can choose to install updates from the beginning so i'll click here install updates and the menu opens up here so i'll click install updates again enter my sudo password and it's going to pull up here the ubuntu software updater and i see there are some updates available so i'll just click update now and while it's installing we can look also to install other drivers if needed so if i click on install drivers it pulls up the software and update software from ubuntu here but i don't have any additional drivers here here we can also see the ubuntu software repositories as well as other repository as well so i can close this up and the update was completed, so I don't need to see the log now. So I'll just click no. And the third point is also here we can set a restore point, just like on Windows, it says. So let's click this and enter a root password. And what we have here, it's time shift. So basically, we can use time shift here to create backups of our system. So let's close this up. Scrolling down, we can also install other languages for the support. And we can also choose the light or dark theme. So I'm going to go for the dark theme here. 
which looks definitely a little bit more sleek. And that's about it. We have some tips here about the keyboard, so we can close this up. We can see it comes also with LibreOffice already installed by default. So if we open this up, we can see also its version. Let's click OK here. And I see already Microsoft fonts are also available already. And let's check the version by going to help and then about LibreOffice. We are on version 6422. It's not the latest, latest one, but it's one of the latest ones. So we can click close here and close the window. This is based on Debian and Ubuntu. So if I pull up a terminal here and go full screen and increase the font size, we can type in sudo apt-get update to update the servers and hit enter. Enter my sudo password and check for upgrades by replacing update with upgrade. But we just did that, so it should be fine. And so there are no packages available, so we can close the window. Let's have a look at the package manager in Linux Lite. And let's go to system here. And I see we have the package manager. This is the Synaptic package manager. So if we click this, we need to enter our root password. And we have the usual Synaptic package management software here. So this is one way how we can manage packages on Linux Lite. Let's close this up. There is another package I'd like to show you, which is called Lite Software. And this is right here. So let's pull this up and enter our sudo password. And it asks me if I want to update the software sources now. So I'll say yes here. And it's going to take a moment to do this. And what we want to do here is to install software or remove software. I'll say install software and click OK. So we got a list of apps here that we can download and install directly from this software center. So let's see, we have here Audacity, we have Kodi, we have OBS Studio, we have Skype, we have Spotify, and we have also Wine. We could install this and then run also Windows software in Linux Lite. And we have also VirtualBox and some other tools as well. So let's go ahead and install maybe Spotify. So I'll just click Spotify here and click install. And yes, I want to proceed. So it's downloading now. And the installation is complete, so we can click OK. Let's quit out of the program here and let's have a look if it's installed. Let's type in Spotify. And there you go, Spotify is there. So everything looks fine. So let's close this up. So other programs here, we have, for example, Firefox already installed and Thunderbird comes as default. For multimedia, we have, of course, VLC, Spotify we just installed. We have LibreOffice for the Office programs, and we have also several accessories here to choose from. If you go to my computer here, we see our computer folder. So we can click home, for example, and we'll see our file manager. So in my opinion, very visually appealing as well. So let's close this up. Let's change once maybe the desktop background. So let's right click on the desktop here and go to desktop settings. And let's choose another wallpaper here. Let's go for this nice beach here. There you go. And let's have a look also at the control panel, which name is very similar to Windows, of course. So let's double click this. And we have our full array here of options where we can change also the login prompt. For example, we have user management here. We can set our notifications, the look of the panel here down and many other options as well. So let me close this up. So Linux Lite is a very visually appealing distro and it's based on Ubuntu 2004 and Debian. And it's mainly targeted to new Linux users who are coming mostly from Windows. So if you're new on Linux and you want to see how you feel with it, Linux Lite is surely one of the distro you can try out. So this was a quick overview on Linux Lite. It's a very nice distribution, especially if you're coming from Windows. Definitely give it a try if you want to try Linux for the first time. I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Sub really helps us out, guys. And if you want to support the channel, please visit our Patreon website or you can also donate through PayPal via the website as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.